Today I'm going to show you how to make awesome guacamole. Key ingredient, nice ripe avocados. That means there's a little firmness when you push in, but you can still push in. Also, key to awesome guacamole, keep it chunky. Don't puree it and turn it into some liquefied soup that's nasty. You gotta keep it chunky. Alright, so, little trick on how to cut avocados. Take the little stem off so it doesn't fall on your avocado. You're gonna bring it around. Don't cut yourself. Line it up, twist, and then this takes a little practice, but put the knife in, twist, see it on here, take it off. Look at that, perfect. And you can tell if they're not right because the seed won't come out. Now we're gonna crisscross our cuts. So we're gonna do vertical, 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 and turn it again. So easy. When they're perfectly ripe, you get a great nutty flavor to it and the longer you wait, it just turns creamy and it's a little less flavorful. So there's like a window of about two days to use the avocado before it goes bad. Tricks to ripening an avocado or put it in a brown bag overnight, maybe two nights. All right, so now that I have my avocados here, I have red onion, adds a little sweet flavor. I have chopped tomatoes, cilantro, jalapenos for some bite, salt always, and a little lime juice for some acidity. So here I am, just gonna scoop it out. See how easy that is? Awesome. Scoop this out. Beautiful. All right. And believe it or not, some people used to refer to avocados as the poor man's butter. But now it's a really expensive product. All right, so we have this chunky uh, avocado in here. I'm gonna mix the tomatoes. And it's imperative that you use enough salt in this because it's really gonna bring out flavor in the avocados. They're pretty mild anyways. So whenever I add ingredients to the guacamole, I make sure that they're not overpowering. I don't add any seasoning. It's just fresh, crisp ingredients. And they all have their own perfect little role in this game. All right, so I'm also a color guy. I like food that is beautiful on the table and tastes good. So here I have a beautiful chunky guacamole mix with nice fresh plum tomatoes chopped. I have red onions in here. I have a little bit of cilantro and you have to taste it before you serve it. Every chef I've ever worked with would just yell at me if I didn't taste my food. A Little bit more salt. Mm -hmm. Use kosher salt. It blends easier. The crystals are a little larger. That way you don't get this concentrated area of salt in your guacamole. It'll be nice and, and well mixed. And there you go. And then if you want to just serve it on a table. So nice, look at that. Beautiful green, yellow, red, purple. There's nothing more satisfying than biting into a huge chunk of avocado. Here you are, awesome, chunky avocado guacamole.